For our top 2022 award recipient, receiving an award of $90,000 is PALS. For Patriots, it's a Today is the inaugural 2022 Fisher Service Award Ceremony. Well, also very grateful to be amongst many great people who do so much for the military and support. Thank you. Thank you. It just, it was an awesome experience and I just think it's so wonderful. Fisher House Foundation and Military Times Foundation have partnered to create this wonderful program. Military Times have come in and they will provide advertisement for all of these wonderful nonprofits to get their word out. We encourage all people that we donate media to, to use this to thank your sponsors. They're the ones that help keep your organizations going. So make sure that they are thanked on this national worldwide level. And then also to drive awareness about your programs and your services. The nonprofits that take care of our troops and our families are essential to our nation. It's just an honor to be a judge, to see the award re recipients in person and to shake their hand and say thank you for what you do. Um, they are all held in regard, high regard by all of us judges. I don't think there's ever been an inaugural award with such a tremendous legacy. To win the Fisher Service Award is an incredible honor, first of all. Um, because of the prestige that the award and the Fisher name carries. Being able to submit a video knowing how many incredible organizations applied to be in that company is truly an honor. Winning the Fisher House Service Award allowed us to take this innovative military kid printer program and provide it year round to military kids, veteran kids all across the country. It is a good day to be in the blessing business. Thank you. We hope to use the monies to help further spreading the word and flying more veterans and military families to places they need to go. And the great thing about this award is we want more people to apply, right? We want to get the word out. There are so many nonprofits out there supporting military and veteran communities that need to learn about this so that we can then honor them and hopefully we can have them as award winners one day.